Siyate Dishmaya, we're in Biyam Darkecha, Kuf, Kaf, He, on Chanukah. We're in the ninth teaching, and it's the, the work of the month of, of Tevet, right? Avodat Chodesh Tevet, which right now is Rosh Chodesh Tevet, Mizat Hashem. Another name for this, by the way, I'm sure this is not written in the book, I would be surprised if it is, is Chagabanot, the holiday of the girls, the holy women of Israel. It's known that it's written about the women of Israel, Beskut Nashim Tzatikaniot Nigalu Yisrael, the merit of the righteous women. The, uh, of Israel, Amisa will, will receive redemption. Right? There's a lot of women that were connected, very connected to the Hanukkah story and the whole fight against the Greek. Chana v'shiva banea, that her, her kever is here in Sfat. Right? And her Chana and her seven sons. Mm. Um, also Yehudit, that the story of Yehudit was, mm. you know, happened a few years before Hanukkah. Right? Uh, two, three, four years before Hanukkah. Who All killed of, uh, no, who, was it? Who was it? Who was it? Uh, uh, Alifornia, Ali 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 and he and Yehudit killed Alifornia, right? Nice. And she's down there in the, the cemetery here in Not Yehudit, Chana. Chana and, Shev, yeah, Chana and her seven sons. And that Hashem, so that's another thing, right? And Rosh Chodesh, of course, is the holiday of the women, right? Like the moon. Zat Hashem, but let's see what the book says. Tevet Uchodesh El Gvurot. Tevet is the month of Gvurot, right? We said this in the morning, we didn't get through it, but there are four holidays that line up with the left side. Of the of the spherical tree, right? Four months are um, Av, uh, Tammuz Av, Tevet, and Shvat, right? Tammuz Av, Tevet, and Shvat. Like this is what's explained in the Zohar. Now, be pamim mukash mo the shinui sheyesh ben or shel Chanukah liyamei Tevet shabayim miyad acharav. Very very often you can feel that the drastic con the, the drastic contrast between the lights. And the feelings of Chanukah to the days of Tevet that come right after it. And this month is the beginning of the Puranut Shachurban, all of the destruction that happened in the destruction of the temple, all of the problems that started. This is the beginning of all of that in the month of Tevet. So too, Ezra Sofer, Ezra the scribe, passed away in this month. And the Torah was translated into Greek. And darkness came upon the world. All of this causes concealment and this feeling of distancing. My own personal footnote, Ezra Sofer and Rabbi Natan of Breslev have the same Hilula. And Rabbi Natan of Breslev was the scribe to Rabbi Nachman, which is Pchilat Moshe. Ezra was the scribe. The whole Kishurim. By way of the power of the truth, Hanukkah, which was a holiday of Hod, we were able to deal and to cope with the darkness properly. The idea is that specifically now, after we had such a great light of Hanukkah, now we're able to go down and to fight to rectify the darkness. By way of the ability of Hod, of Chanukah, which Hod is always to see the inner reality of Hashem. And we have this Esh Kodesh of the Nerot, we have this fire, holy fire of the candles. We are able now to go in to the darkness and to know the truth that there is no such thing as darkness at all. Even if we see that Hashem, so to say, is, is concealed, is hidden, really the truth is Hashem is always there. Tamid Meir, he's always illuminating the lights. Elish is any sayon, it's just a test. Legalot is omek emunatenu vidvekutenu bo. How deep is our loyalty to Hashem? How much are we clinging to Hashem? Kaksha, no watch of Hanukkah, Mamshikim Nair, Belevot Israel. So, by way of this, we understand that the light of Hanukkah continued to illuminate inside the, the, the hearts of Am Israel. Mechazkim otam letzveach lamot benisan mit gaber la koshi. And gives you the strength. That you need to be successful, to stand through all of the tests, and to overcome all of the hardships. What is the practical avoda in the month of Tevet? Even though these times you're most likely going to feel a katnut, you're going to feel a constriction, a small mindset, childlike mindset, right? And you're going to have some hardships, God forbid, but we're just preparing you for what's most likely going to come. Right, again, the Beit HaMikdash was a physical building, but now in our Avodat Hashem, also it's, it's also what's going on inside your consciousness, inside your psyche. Right, so that's coming in an attack right now. These are the months of the beginning of the attacks on the Beit HaMikdash, the beginning of the attacks on your own consciousness. And the person feels far and distant, and he feels like he fell 
from his level, he fell from his, from his madriga. But I admit, he, Shashem Yitbarach lo ozev. The truth is that Hashem will never leave you. He'll never abandon you. And our work is to recognize that even within the darkness, I'm not going to fall, God forbid, to, 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 to acts that are against the will of Hashem. Even when I have a concealment and I feel so different, distant, I'm not going to allow myself to continue to fall. Rather, I'm going to stand strong with the power of Hod, and I'm going to say, Hashem Yitbarach kan ve'et kol ma'asai ya'aseh rak lefi ha'emet azot. Hashem is here, and all of my actions, I'm only going to do according to that recognition. Hashem is here, Hashem is there, Hashem is truly everywhere. Hashem is here, Hashem is there, Hashem is truly everywhere. Up, up, down, down, right, right, all around, here, there, everywhere. Hashem is everywhere. So, we have to be careful from the, the, the mistakes of the Yetzara and the confusion of the Yetzara. That when a person is weak and he feels super, super down and he feels weak, then he starts to learn a little bit less, and uh, or he's not so he's not so able to have proper kavana in his prayers. He's not able to have intention in his prayers. And then the Yetzara says to him, "Ina ata nofel, ina look, you're you're falling, you're messing up, you're not you're not successful, you're not standing strong. See, you're just a failure. You can't even pray properly. You can't even open a book to learn Torah, and it's a mistake." Because for sure you're not able to be successful when completely successful like you're expecting to in a time of constriction, in a time of darkness. That's not what they're asking you to do either. If you try to compare your time of darkness to the time when you have all the light shining, right? Tevet is not Elu, and it's not Tishrei. You're not meant to do the work that you're expected to do then. Then, for sure, the outcome is going to be a disappointing one. You're going to feel down. What is the, where is the test? The test is on your heart. Are you loyal to Hashem? Are you not willing to give up on Him? Are you not willing to abandon Him? Because Hashem is everything in your life. A person gets seduced into the hardships and he starts to look for other things when he can't find the light of Hashem. He wants to get the light from somewhere else and he forgets Hashem. The success in this test is expressed by way of the heart. Does your heart really desire Hashem? Even in the biggest darkness that you can experience, Alev Lochesh Ratzon Hashem Yidbarach is your heart whispering out with the with the lightest voice, voice that it has left inside of it. I want Hashem. Adam Machzik Bemuna Afal Al Af Kolak Shaim, and you hold on to your Emuna even with all the hardships. What is what determines that? How much effort do you put on, put into being able to hold on to that? How much, how much emunah did you build up in order to be successful now? If the test is again, how much do you want to be successful? How much are you loyal to the king? No one's expecting from you to be serving Hashem like in Elul, like in Tishrei. No one's asking for that level of avodah right now. They're just asking you to want, to desire, to continue to be desired, desiring to connect to Hashem. And that's the true test. And even if you're not going to be completely successful, because you, you're in darkness, right? The real test is, do you want it? And you cannot make the mistake. And the hardships that are coming up right now, don't put up too much on your, on your shoulders. Don't try to, try to take on spiritual works that are above your pay grade right now because you're ten, in a time of constriction. They're just asking you to get by. They're asking you to pray three times a day, to say a few brachot a day, and to learn Torah at least for an hour or two a day. All right? You're not asked right now to be a, a magichi or to, to be some kind of... You're not, they're asking you to, to check the V's and to get through the days. Right? Just show that you're loyal to Hashem and do what you're obligated to do. The Torah wasn't given to Malachi Hashem. The Torah wasn't given to the divine angels serving Hashem. They're given to us. So what's the work? To stay loyal to Hashem and to not, to not leave Him, to start to seek out light in other places. And to continuously talk to Hashem and everything you try to connect it back to Hashem. And obviously, in all of your loyalty, part of loyalty is not leaving the avodah, not leaving the work that you have to do. You have to put in the effort according to your ability. Don't expect 
to be super successful, like in the times of of, of amazing uh, expansionist and, and revelation. If you put in the effort that you have, according uh, according to where you are right now, to be loyal to Hashem Itbarach. The main action that you need to do in these times is to scream out to Hashem and to beg Him and to say, Eili, Eili, lama azavtani, My God, my God, why did you abandon me? Open it up for me, my Father. Merit me to hold on to you even in the darkness. That I should never leave you in any time. Even though it's hard and I'm not able to be successful like, I'm, I, probably, like I probably should. Please just ignite inside of me the true candle, the candle of truth. And repeat to yourself, Hashem is with me and I'm with him. And this cannot change. Because he is all of reality. Therefore, he's with me constantly. The darkness is just a check, just a test. Is this, is this truth, is this truth clear to me? Or am I being seduced after vanity and lies in this world? Last part, Torah Lishma. An essential part of the month of Tibet is learning Torah Lishma. We just had a month of learning on what is Torah Lishma a few months ago, right? What is Torah Lishma? Anybody can repeat? What is Torah Lishma? What is learning? Huh? For its own sake. That's the words, but what does it mean? Because he says so. <laughs> Deeper? Keeping yourself out of it. Just Deeper? Guys, come on. We learned a month on this. No? I wasn't here. You're exempt. You're a patur. I'm expecting uh, one and two. I'm not going to say any names. I'm not going to say any names because this is going to the internet. One and two should have the answer right here. What is Torah Lishma? What is the goal when you come to learn Torah? Connect with Hashem. There you go. So what is Torah for the sake of heaven? <laughs> to connect to Hashem. This is an essential part of it. Meaning, to learn in order to connect to the godly light that's inside the Torah. To cling to Hashem by way of the Torah. That it is His speech, His words, and His desire, His will. Within the Torah, Hashem hid His light. When you have an illumination and everything's going well for you and you're in expansive consciousness, then it's very easy for you to go into learning Torah. Even when it's dark and you feel like you're not worth anything. That is the time that you have to overcome that feeling of not feeling worthy, not feeling like you're worth anything, not feeling like you could do anything. And you have to overcome that and say, just say the words, just open the book and say the words. Right? There's a pasuk that says, The nation that walks in darkness, right? And they don't fall, rather they continue with all of the hardships and they put in the effort according to their ability, they will see great light. And that is the month of Tevet. The month of Tevet is about understanding that we're in darkness, but we just got given the lights, all of the lights. All 12 of, 12 of the tribes, all 13 of the of Midot of Rachamim from Keter. We just got it all. We downloaded everything. Zot, we connected the Taf to the Aleph. We connected the lowest part of, right? Even, even, even in the Torah, it's mentioned, the 400 men that came with Esav. And all of the tribes of Esav. All of the offspring of Esav. That is Torah. That is part of Torah. Your, down, your downfalls and your hardships. That is part of Torah. That is part of your spiritual being. Connected back to Elif, to Aleph, to the Pele Elyon, to the Keter, connected back to that part. And when you have a hardship, continue to scream to Hashem that I'm not leaving you. I'm not going to give up on you. And I'm not going to go seek out the different things because I can't learn Torah. I'm going to go do video games or I'm going to go smoke a joint or I'm going to go do anything else. No, I'm going to open the book and I'm going to read the words that are written right there. Even though it's not illuminated for me, even though it's hard for me. For sure I can do it when it's easy for me. What's the test? Tishrei, it's hard to learn Torah. Elul, it's hard to learn Torah. No, but in Tevet, it's extremely hard. Do you still do it then? That's the loyalty that's being tested right now. 
The darkness is just a test to see where is your heart right now and what are you going to do when I take away all of the lights, when I take away the Chanukah, when I take away the eight lights of Chanukah. What do you do then? And this is the bracha that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave to us, that this month starts inside the light. It started tonight in the sixth candle. We have a seventh candle with it. We have an eighth candle, meaning we have the physicality, we have the spirituality, and we have the ensof. We have all three levels, the infinite, the physical, and the spiritual, six, seven, and eight, inside this beginning, the first three days of Tevet. We have to take that for the rest of the nine months of the year to be successful, to connect the rest of the year that Hashem is going to lead us, no matter how He leads us, to connect it back to the supernal reality of the Kedush Baruch Amen, Kani, Ratzon.